Hi everybody, um, I'm going to show you a tutorial how to make a sub base. I just installed Windows 7, it looks quite awesome. So I got a little project I made just now. Uh, let's have a listen. Um, where is it? This? Okay. Okay, uh, basic beat, drums, uh, some chords, some single notes. Okay, so to make a sub bass to it, I'm gonna use the uh, 3x oscillator and uh, pick two so sine waves. And uh, I'm not gonna tweak anything here. It sounds good as it is. Uh, now the sub bass is basically most of the time it's the sine wave and uh, it sits in a frequency range of uh, 0 to let's say 100 and uh, I'm gonna the way uh, let's I'm gonna just delete this and I'm gonna copy the notes I used for the melody and I'm gonna paste them in the 3x oscillator now I got some chords going um, but I'm not gonna use the chords in a sub bass line because uh, it's uh, not gonna sound pretty good usually you just uh, need to use the single notes so I'm gonna delete the upper notes and leave the single notes okay so these are the single notes I created for the melody and then later I added some notes on top of them to make to turn them into chords so this is the basic basic baseline I got going sounds too high so I'm gonna lower it to C3 yeah sounds better and uh, now some of the notes that will, uh, let's say, peak at the frequency range of uh, 60, 60 to 70 will sound good on their own, but the other notes, uh, the lower ones or the higher ones, will not sound that good on their own. So I'm gonna layer some of the notes with an octave higher or, let's say, lower. So. I'm gonna take uh, the same note and uh, use the one that's octave higher. These no th uh, this note uh, is higher, so I'm gonna use the lower octave. Yeah, okay. And uh, so I, I got a bad speakers, so I'll need a reference from the frequency analyzer. The analyzer I use is from Elemental Audio, Inspector XL, uh, which is good, I uh, like it. Now, uh, this note here doesn't sound good on its own, so I'm gonna layer it with the same note, but the octave higher. Yeah, now, so, now it sounds good. Uh, uh, this note here sounds pretty good on its own. Uh, the reason I copied uh, the note here to make some kind of a little variation. Now let's uh, see how it looks on analyzer and how it sounds. So 
pixel. Uh, it peaks at uh, 63, which is uh, uh, quite good. Uh, it's got nice body to it. And... Uh, uh, okay, oh, yeah. Um, I ordered it to uh, insert and... Uh, let's just delete this one insert here and put some basic uh, distortion on it. Um, I'll use a default plugin um, through the fast distortion. Let's just lower the threshold to add some more body to it. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna use a um, plugin for EQing, I'll just use the one that uh, is on the insert, uh, just the uh, basic cut from uh, 100 hertz. Yeah, and uh, well, sub bass is the bass that is uh, from uh, 0 to 100 hertz basically. It's the bass that you more feel than hear. So, yeah, let's paste it now. And here, how it sounds with the tune. Yeah, sounds good and uh, musically correct, I guess, because uh, I use the same notes, so everything is in key. Um, okay, so that's the way to make it with a 3x oscillator, uh, just two sine waves. Or you can use the same way by using a sample of a sub bass. Now the sample is a single note. And I'll do practically the same, I'll just copy the notes and uh, hear how it sounds. Sounds good. Uh, uh, Rotate to the same insert on the mixer. Yeah, sounds good. So, uh, you can use both methods uh, by uh, synthesizing or using a sample, whichever you prefer. Whatever works. If it sounds good, do it. Yeah, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, add some distortion, cut off the unnecessary frequencies, and yeah, that's it. Bye.